Hello. Today, I hope you're doing great. Today we are going to see a small example of how to invoke Logic Apps from a .NET Core application. Our Logic App will basically index a video that we are going to upload to a blob storage in Azure from our .NET Core application. Let's start. So this is our application running and you will see that I'll uh, choose a file I'll uh, choose select it I'll upload it now the application will upload the file into a Azure blob storage which you can see where is in the blobs um, the storage SDK from the Nugget package, we are uploading the blob with the information that comes from the file. Then we are retrieving the file URL and the file name, and we are posting to our logic app that basically receives a post request and starts the video indexing flow. So, let's see, this is still uploading, it will, it takes around a minute from my computer uh, to upload the file and then you will see that it will stop here in this URL, uh, in this breakpoint when we have the URL. Now we get the blob reference, we get the actual URL so there is the URL now we are going to post and let's see our logic app okay but first we are we are actually going to see the <coughs> file in here okay Let's see our logic apps. Okay, we are going to see this logic app, which is named index video, and you will see that if we edit it we will see the that it receives an HTTP request it will receive the file name and the file URL it will retrieve the token from our um, Azure Media Video Indexer um, account and then it will index video now in my bit indexer you will see that we only have this one and the last time this workflow was executed was at 10 32 a.m so it was around 20 minutes ago so let's continue let's do the post here so when i do the post you will see that we have a workflow running the workflow already finished so you will see that we received the request we got the token we post the information to the bin through the bid indexer API and if I refresh this we will see that the video was actually uploaded and video indexer is actually currently indexing our video it, uh, it has a 30 percent uh, progress and then we will see all of our information so that's a small example of one of the uses you could do or one of the ways you could use logic apps and how you could invoke uh, the logic apps from a .NET Core application, any other application actually. Basically, 
the HTTP request is a trigger and you just configure it so let's see we have the file name and the file URL I'm going to delete this temporarily basically what I did was just use the request said when an HTTP request is received use a sample payload I know that I want to retrieve the file URL or I want to get the URL and I will be expecting my name this generates the actual payload and when I save I will um, get the actual URL where I have to post for the logic app to be executed now I am not going to save that because it will change my uh, current latest and the URL and then basically I just get the rest of the information for example we, we um, post to the account and well this account is the one for the mid indexer for my trial uh, some test keys that I just generated some minutes ago and then when we are going to post to we are going to post the video we select post we use the post URL we set the privacy private or we can use it as public whatever we want the access token we are going to set the body from the get video indexer account token access token um, action because when this URL is executed and the response is a successful response the response body will have the access token the file name will be the file name that comes in the HTTP request for the logic app trigger and the file URL will also be in the HTTP request uh, trigger so there is the file name and that's basically it so that's a quick way of how to invoke a logic app from a .NET Core application or any application and how to use the logic app to start the video indexing flow in Azure Video Indexer hope you have liked the video uh, please let us know anything else you would like to learn about .NET Core Microsoft Azure also remember that we are doing some trainings videos for unity 3d and please also share the channel and don't forget to subscribe actually you can go to the channel and you can subscribe from any of the videos Also, our information will be in this page, pdicostarica.com. You will have access to all of our resources. Uh, also, there is a link to the YouTube channel. And you will be able to see tutorials for .NET Core, for Microsoft Azure, uh, so tutorials for high quality software development. We will be adding more soon. Uh, this one is in Spanish, this one is for creating a 2D platform video game using Unity, popular uploads, and some other playlists. Um, okay, so that will be everything for now. Thank you very much. Have a great day.